Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So, well, you, you know what we're doing already. It's, every day is wrist day. There goes Bonnie. Bonnie and the neighbor dog. She got to get her friends in. That's, that's how she's staying in such good shape. It's because she does sprints two or three times a day. So, and that brings up a, another point. Um, if you want to make, hey, 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 shut up. If you want to make consistent progress in your training, your weight loss, you should make it simple and easily repeatable. So for my hand and wrist training, oh yeah, we're going to, we're going to sample out some antique see it antique 107 uh, from Oscar and I'm getting sidetracked here antique 107 it's probably like the first Weller I ever experienced I didn't even know about Weller I was drinking scotch whenever the whole bourbon craze started going off big time and I was drinking peated scotch who gives a shit about bourbon I drink single malt scotch but anyway, uh, Oscar shared something, and he sent me a Maker's Mars ca Maker's Mark cast drink, and we're gonna do a comparison of those two. Now that old Weller knows, it smells divine. But anyway, if you have goals, and this is kind of something that I got from the Atomic Habits book, if you want to see progress. At anything you need to make the habit as easy as possible to perform so that's like every morning I can make the decision to either go sit in my recliner and scroll through TikTok for an hour or I can fill up my cup of coffee and I can just walk outside as soon as I walk outside the habit is already formed and the laziness has been broken. I automatically start setting up my little stations in the morning, doing my little wrist work. And right now, let me see if I can get it. Right now, most of the morning is one with one of these. And I just sit here, not up on this thing, but oh yeah, that hurts. That hurts, especially on this one, because i got a freaking titanium plate in my right arm. But I usually sit on my, my leg, and I'll do rotation here for a pronation. And then I'll start in this position here and supinate with the weight on this side. And then I'll set up on the inside of my knee with a handle like this, supinating upwards. So I do those three. I also do some kind of wrist flexion, i.e. cupping. So this is wrist flexion. So, and then I'll do some type of wrist extension with a, a barbell that I have. But as far as building solid daily habits, the trigger for whatever habit you're trying to become good at needs to be very easy so that's one thing I learned in the book so as long as I just walk outside and that's the trigger if I can just fill my cup of coffee even if I don't feel like doing shit if I just bypass my recliner or force myself out of my recliner to walk outside then I start performing the morning hand and wrist ritual now in the evening as long as I don't get off work too late I will come out here and do something. Now, the earlier I get off, the more I'll do, the more I'll try to do. But the later I get off, I'll usually reduce the workout to two to three, maybe four exercises. Uh, last night, I didn't get off too late, but I didn't get off as early as I'd like. Uh, so I did five exercises. Up the weight a little bit on some of them, so I kept the reps around 15 for the most part, per exercise for four circuits. The 
that, in my opinion, is probably the best Weller product out there. Now, the single barrel and the foolproof, I haven't had a lot of experience with those. I have had some, when we're talking about Weller, but I've had, I've got a lot of experience with the antique Weller. And that, like I said earlier, that was my first entry into WL Weller because I didn't even drink Green Label Weller until after I drank Antique 107. But it's just creamy, honey, freaking toffee, buttered toffee, like a Werther's Original, some spice in there. It's like if you took and melted, took it like a bag of Werther's, a little bit of cinnamon, some honey, and just put it in a pot and reduced it down threw some freaking grain alcohol in it. That's pretty much what this is. And so, to add to the habits, get out of my way. So this is an unscheduled wrist work. I don't even count this. This is just, basically in my mind, I, I consider it to or a, it's akin to uh, turning wrenches. Uh, as a mechanic, just goes to work, or before all the power tools, a mechanic would just go to work and just mindlessly turn wrenches. And that's how I equate my exercise program, at least for my hand and wrist right now, is I just get out here and I turn wrenches all day long. Because some of the strongest hands and wrists I've ever come across were lifetime mechanics and they didn't know <laughs> they didn't do anything else they didn't know any technique they just were able to do this right here and bring it to them with ease I'm like no amount of back pressure and pronation was going to stop you so that's basically what I do all day long and I calculated it up for the first seven days of August. I had done at or around 5,000 reps already. So how, how, much, how much wrench turning do you think a mechanic does in a day? I mean, I was at almost 1,000 reps a day. I think it was between eight and 900 most days, and it dropped down into the 700s whenever I would increase the weight because obviously I can't do as many reps uh, with a heavier weight but yeah we're just I feel like this program slowly but surely is going to accumulate into wrists of just steel and iron like braided steel cables but you can even kind of see them already like that's that is a that's a tendon. That's not muscle. That's those are tendons right there. So that's a tendon. Can't really see it on the left side. It's a little fatter. But I'm hoping if I can continuously do this and stay injury free for the next year, I'm going to be a serious threat in the uh, pro pro category, the open category. They call it open. Man, that's so good. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if Maker's Mark tastes that good. That's just sweet, creamy, mm, sweet, creamy goodness. But I think that's all I got, guys. We'll do one more little set. I think I did the right last time, but I probably need to build a better apparatus. I just got this uh, pulley system hanging from the curling above my head but I've stood up there before I've had 300 pounds in one spot up there so I know this is 50 something pounds as far as the weight goes it's not too much but it does kind of flex back and forth so I probably need to put some kind of brace between the purlings purlins but 
Alright guys, that's all I got. So, moral of the story is, drink WL Weller Antique 107. Don't pay, don't overpay for it. It is good, but it's not that good. Um, try to make your habits, your daily habits, if you're wanting them to stick and be successful at creating good habits, make whatever trigger you use incredibly easy. So, there she goes again, more sprints. That's why she's in such good shape. She's eight years old now. She's over eight. And she's looking healthier and healthy. She friggin' pulled, I almost beat her to death last night. She yanked out, uh, let's see if I can show it to you. So Brandon, Brandon started a garden in the backyard. Let's try to do this without causing too much trouble. We got a little garden here. We got some ghost peppers and other peppers over here. We had some squash here. There's like basil and mint, spinach, a bunch of spinach, tomatoes and whatnot. We had a little watering hose, a little trickle system. And Bonnie decided to rip it out of the fucking ground. What a bitch. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make your habits easy and repeatable. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family like Oscar did. Be safe, don't drink and drive, take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.